Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Derrick Rose and the whole rumor mill surrounding the Los Angeles Lakers for them to potentially acquire Derrick Rose from the uh, Detroit Pistons. This is just a rumor report. It is not anything to really read too much into it, but there has been multiple sources that are surrounding this particular report and I just want to give you guys uh, my thoughts and my opinions about the possibilities of the Lakers making a move for Derrick Rose to come to the Los Angeles Lakers. So guys, I want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about it. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. So guys, uh, the Lakers, as of right now, uh, they have a lot in their plate when it comes to the offseason and free agency. There's a lot of decisions that they need to make when it comes to, uh, you know, bringing back certain players from Rajon Rondo, from Dwight Howard, uh, and a plethora of other players that are on a player option from KCP and Avery Bradley uh, and the rest of the uh, the Lakers who are on player options and some of them who are on unrestricted, uh, you know, contracts. So uh, there's just a lot in, on their plate and there's some ideas that the Lakers might be looking at and from certain reports and rumors and speculations that uh, there's players that the Lakers might consider going after. Uh, there's, uh, uh, you know, players like, uh, you know, Jordan Clarkson, there's uh, uh, DeMar DeRozan and, you know, DeLeo Gallinari and the list of Great uh, other, you know, players that are going to be free agents that could be a good added addition to the Los Angeles Lakers, including a player like Carmelo Anthony. Which, by the way, I will be making a video of that type of scenario if uh, if an interest does uh, come into the rumor mill when it comes to the uh, the Los Angeles Lakers and Carmelo Anthony. I have a lot of uh, ideas when it comes to that particular. Uh, um, type of report. Uh, but in this particular report, we're talking about Derrick Rhodes. Okay, Derrick Rhodes is in the conversation once again with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, the idea did come last year in uh, January. Well, not last year, but in the uh, regular season of uh, January of 2020 during the tra trade deadline uh, when the Lakers were listening to some offers for Kyle Kuzma. And one of the teams that were brought up during uh, some uh, rumored reports that were being out there that uh, the Pistons would basically, you know, have Derrick Rhodes available for a particular trade. And the Lakers came up and, you know, Kyle Kuzma's name was brought up. And uh, the scenario was that a it, w it would have happened, but, you know, the Lakers just basically at that time did not want to make that particular move. And uh, it's understandable. I mean, there's a lot of uh, scenarios that goes into this particular uh, trade and till now. Uh, and during, in, in this report, I, I believe it was a, a GM uh, brought this uh, type of report uh, into existence again that it will be a much easier route for the Los Angeles Lakers to pull off a trade for Derrick Rhodes this time about because for the remainder of his contract it's he has about seven million dollars left of his contract so and i believe it's a one-year deal so it's uh one year remaining on uh, derrick rose's contract with seven million so uh and it's just a perfect way for the lakers to pull off a trade like that and uh, you know knowing the uh the Detroit Pistons and how uh, they want to potentially, if they want, make this trade happen. They will be asking for Kyle Kuzma and, you know, knowing the Lakers, they might ask for another player to be attached to Derrick Rose or maybe uh, a draft pick. So uh, that's my idea and my scenario if it if it does happen. But in this uh, article, what I read more into it is that... Uh, in this report, uh, they brought up the idea that maybe, and I don't really think it will happen, but it could be a possibility if uh, if Derrick Rose wants to, you know, be traded or he you know he just is done with the with uh, Detroit. So, uh, is the idea of a buyout, and that's the 
basically the best idea, in my opinion, that the Lakers could pull off because, you know, they don't have to give up anybody and they can just sign somebody who is uh, on the buyout market and just sign that particular player. They did the same way with uh, Markeith Morris and they worked out perfectly. They didn't have to give up anybody and they signed somebody who had great potential with the idea of uh, just... You know, picking up a guy that on a one-year contract, maybe it will be two, still remains to be seen of that type of scenario, but uh, a scenario nonetheless. I mean, uh, I prefer that way, but, you know, knowing the uh, the Detroit Pistons, they're not going to give up a guy like Derrick Rose for, for nothing. So um, a trade could potentially happen. So uh, the idea of that. So um, me personally, I mean... I like Derrick Rose. I mean, the guy is a very talented guy. I mean, you know, being the youngest MVP in NBA history, I mean, it's, uh, you know, well-respected. And for a guy who, you know, was injured left and right, bounced around injuries, and uh, uh, it was just a, a type of risk factor, like I said, the idea for the Lakers to give up somebody like Kyle Kuzma for Derrick Rose is uh, kind of you know, puts into a question out there. Uh, is it a good idea for the Lakers to give up a talent, talented guy in Kyle Kuzma who could be an all-star in a couple of years? Uh, is, uh, it puts into question about that. And, uh, you know, so far, uh, Derek Rose have, you know, for the past couple of years, he's been uh, doing pretty well for himself. I mean, he's, you know, he's been, you know, healthy so far uh, but you never know he's reaching up there in age and you know the the possibilities of him knock on wood getting injured is uh, is still that possibility and uh, so you know there's just a lot of risk of that particular idea that the Lakers might uh, you know give away a young talented guy like Kyle Kuzma and you know just stick with a guy with uh, you know any given moment a an injury might occur uh, it's not to say that uh, Derrick Rose is injured prone, but, you know, it's just, you know, judging by his history of getting injured, it's just that that's the idea. And, you know, this is a good perk about Derrick Rose is that he averages around 18 points a game and he plays f from uh, coming off the bench. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's just been doing that so well throughout his uh you know, career so far, what we witnessed uh, during his times with the uh, the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. I mean, he, off the bench, this is the same guy who averaged a career-high 50 points. I mean, uh, you know, it was just uh, and during his times with the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. So uh, the idea of that happening and, you know, the idea of him teaming up with LeBron James is uh, – is it's a great scenario for a guy like uh, Derrick Rhodes. Uh, you know, maybe he would just change his career around and just go on a tear off the bench with the idea of just, you know, competing for a championship, going back to back, and uh, you know, with the Los Angeles Lakers. So, uh, it is. Um, there's just a lot of scenarios, a lot of scenarios, guys. And, uh, you know, I'm not ruling the idea that the Lakers might pursue Derrick Rhodes. I just think, on the other hand, like I said, with the whole buyout situation, uh, the Lakers will not give up anybody and they will just uh, pursue a guy uh, in the buyout similar to Markeith Morris situation and just, you know, do that route. But uh, a trade idea of that would could potentially happen, but it still remains to be seen about that. Uh, just we just have to look forward to what uh, free agency will be for the Los Angeles Lakers uh, if an idea of that does happen. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, scenarios that the Lakers are going to be looking at is free agency, and um, you know, bringing back certain players is the. Uh, uh, the idea route that the Lakers might consider or doing first, then look at free agency who's available. So, um, I really want I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions, guys, in the comment section about uh, down below about the idea of the Lakers acquiring um, 
Derrick Rose uh, from the uh, the Detroit Pistons. Uh, it's uh, do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? I personally, uh, I'm kind of up in the air when it comes to this type of uh, trade scenario. On the other hand, uh, you'll be getting a guy who's a former MVP and you know plays very well off the bench and averages around 18 points a game. So you have that type of a uh, perk. Of Derrick Rose, but at the same time, you have to think about the risk factor of injuries might be playing a huge factor for the Los Angeles Lakers. And plus, they'll be giving away somebody like Kyle Kuzma in the process if they are going to trade him to uh, for a guy like uh, Derrick Rose. So there's some perks. There's a positivity and there's some negativity of this uh potential trade if it does happen so um, I really want to know guys uh, your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below like this video subscribe to the channel share my videos guys once again I do appreciate every single one of you for keeping the support alive on this channel I mean the amount of support you guys give me on this channel is just so overwhelming you guys just an amazing audience on YouTube and especially uh, on all my social media sites, you guys are so active there. I do appreciate all of you uh, for liking all my social media sites, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'll leave the links into the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites. And of course, subscribe to the channel, share my videos with your friends, uh, your loved ones, uh, just anybody that you know of that are Laker fans, uh, please uh Tell them to subscribe to my channel. I, I do appreciate the love support once again from all of you for keeping the, this channel alive. I mean, you guys just so awesome at that. And uh, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions about the Los Angeles Lakers and the offseason, especially the free agency market. Uh, if you have any thoughts about free, agent, free agents that the Lakers could pursue uh, in the free agency market, uh, I really want to know in the comment section down below. I mean, there's just a lot of scenarios that the Lakers could go with when it comes to improving the team. Uh, and, you know, like I said, they could go the route of bringing some certain players back from Razan Rondo, Dwight Howard, um, possibly with uh, Avery Bradley, with his still not making a decision for him to opt out of, opt into his uh, player option. Uh, I believe he'll be making somewhere around 4 to $5 million, uh, if he just opts in, but uh, still remains to be seen about that. Uh, but if you have any suggestions of who the Lakers should uh, pursue or bring back, please comment down below. I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.